Napier Crater in Arizona, gouged out by an asteroid just 150 feet across. You can see the huge force that excavated this, and you can also see the layers of material that were, that were turned over uh, uh, as, as the crater was excavated. And so uh, some of these rocks around here are kind of upside down from where they started. There have been millions of impacts like this in Earth's past. There will be more. Imagine a city where Meteor Crater is now. They'd see a fireball coming through the sky very quickly. You know, this thing is moving at eight miles a second, and so it wouldn't take very long for it to move across the sky and strike the ground. Heat from the fireball scorches the surface. But most damage comes after the impact. Once it strikes the ground, this takes a few seconds to create. So very short time, very large amount of energy, and uh, very devastating effects. The asteroid is obliterated. A mighty shock wave generates winds six times more powerful than a hurricane. You have the blast that comes out probably for several miles and large debris that would crush buildings and, and homes. If it hit today, the asteroid from Meteor Crater would be a city killer. But the Meteor Crater asteroid was small. It was likely a fragment from a much larger asteroid. Whatever it is that hit in Meteor Crater wasn't very big. It was probably 50 yards across, so not even as big as a football field. There are millions of much larger asteroids. These would cause even more carnage. Country killers and worse. Asteroids over a half mile wide could end our civilization. Worldwide killers.